Hey, it's Bob Harris here, and we are learning Amazing Grace. We are learning it finger style, and this is for beginners. And what we're doing here is we're not only learning the song Amazing Grace, which features a three-quarters waltz tempo pattern, but we're also learning how to finger pick, we're learning how to change chords, we're learning about tab, learning about reading sheet music, everything for beginners. So we're killing two birds at one stone here by learning Amazing Grace and also being able to learn finger picking, okay? So if you don't have the study guide, the whole study guide, the free study guide, all you do is go right up here and click on this button here and that'll take you to the uh, study guide download page and you'll also get to sign up on my VIP list, my VIP group, where everything is free over there, all my courses. So uh, go ahead and get the study guide. Now for those of you that already have the study guide and you're working on, uh, on the play along videos, some of you have requested that you want the program, the Tux Guitar uh, program, and you want my, uh, my music that I've uh, programmed inside of the Tux Guitar. It's a really cool program. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a video that I made last year for the song Vacation Home, which explains how to download the Tux Guitar program. So you need the program in order to play my file that I've created for it. And you need to download it on your computer. So every time you hear the word Vacation Home on this, uh, rather than doing the video over again, every time you hear Vacation Home, just substitute it with Amazing Grace, okay? So I'll see you in the next video, but watch this one <clears throat> to be able to learn how to download it, uh, the Tux Guitar program on your computer. We'll see you in a little bit. So I just want to make sure you understand that um, this part of the course, downloading Tux Guitar, which is what I'm going to be showing you how to do, is not mandatory, although you will be missing out on being able to zero in on some problems that you're having. Uh, you can go and do this any time, but it's not mandatory. I have videos covering all of this, okay? But um, this is a great program, and you could learn other songs with it as well, okay? So with that said, after you've clicked on the Download Tux Guitar, click here. It takes you to this page, this page called SourceForge. I download a lot of, a lot of little programs here. And so what you're going to do is we're at Tux Guitar. We're going to go ahead and click the download button. And it's going to start in two, one seconds. Here we go. And as you can see, Tux Guitar is downloading onto my computer. Okay? So I'm going to pause this video and um, then we'll... Um, I'll show you how to install it on your computer. Alright, so the Tux Guitar has finally downloaded and what we're going to do is install it on our computer. One thing that I always do is, um, at least with my computer, this icon for what I'm downloading is on the bottom left hand corner. I don't know how it is for your computer. But what I do is I'll click on the little button right over there and it says show in folder because I need to locate it. So it's showing me that Tux Guitar 1.3.2 is in the um, in my downloads folder. So I'm going to just double click on that and go ahead and run the program. And this will go ahead and install the Tux Guitar inside my um, inside my computer. Um, I accept the agreement, the licensing agreement, and I'll go ahead and install it in my directory. And go ahead and click Next. Okay, so after I restart my computer, I'll get right back with you. Alright, so I just restarted my, my uh, computer and Tux Guitar Download placed a shortcut icon on the top of my desktop. Okay, That's one place to access Tux Guitar. The next place, and you can't see this because this program that I'm using to record the screen, which by the way is the worst audio quality I've ever heard. Uh, it's just horrible and I'm so sorry for that. Um, but it's below right here in the start 
icon. You can't see it here because their their logo is covering it up. But I go ahead and I'm sure you're familiar with what this looks like. You can get Tux Guitar. Uh, double click on that and, and open up Tux Guitar. Also you can go to All Programs and uh, double click on Tux Guitar from there. But for right now we're just going to do it um, right on the desktop. So here we go. Double click. And this first thing says that welcome to the Tux Guitar community. You could um, download other people's files, other songs, and you could share your files as well. But right now we're not going to use this. So just click OK. So the whole goal here to let you know is what we're trying to do is we're trying to put Vacation Home the song Vacation Home that came with your package, with your band simulation package that you, you received from me. Uh, and it says the program is called vacationhome.tx. That's what we're going to be loading in, in this program. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First, what we have to do is we have to set this up properly. Okay, so the first place we're going to go, I know there's a lot of buttons here. We don't need to know all of these, okay? But this is just like a regular tape recorder. Play, stop, rewind, rewind to the beginning, fast forward, fast forward to the end. Um, and I'll go over some of this while we're working with it. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to View. And we want to show instruments. This is what you should see when you first open up Tux Guitar for the first time. And let me just show you right here that the steel string guitar is the audio. There's synthesized audio in here, and you can see that there's a massive amount of different sounds here. You can have a vibraphone playing, percussion organ, rock organ, accordion. I mean, you name it. They have a lot of things in here. And the sounds are a little cheesy, but it does the job. It's a it's a neat program here. So I'm just going to pick clean guitar just because it doesn't irritate me. Okay. Now we want to be able to use a metronome. So in order to use a metronome, you have to create a drum track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, and I'm going to go to this right here, percussion channel. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to go program one. Okay. Let me just I'll do this one more time. We need it. We need a percussion track in order to hear a metronome. So add. Then we want percussion track. And we want to go to program one. Okay, and after you're done with that, all you have to do is click off. It'll stay like that until you, you do something different. Okay. So there we have it. Now what we want to do is I put vacation home on my desktop and we want to be able to load that into this program so let me just click out of this real quick just minimize this and I'm looking for here's vacation home I'm gonna put it right here this is the tux guitar program now for some reason when I double click on this um, I have a problem. It seems like I have to open up Tux Guitar first. So I'm going to go back to Tux Guitar and the way that I'm going to get Vacation Home loaded in here is I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Open. And I'm going to look for Vacation Home on my desktop which is where I put it. Depends where you put this stuff that, I, that you got from me. But I put have a tendency to want to put everything on my desktop because I lose things very easily. Well, the good news is, is Vacation Home is down here at the bottom. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open it up and boom, there is Vacation Home. Okay? So right now I have this programmed at 55 beats per measure which is exactly half of what band simulation and the way that I've been teaching you about the metronome. It's exactly half. Okay, I'll get into that a little bit more later, but for right now this is pretty slow, 55. So if you go up here and you go ahead and play this, you'll be able to hear um, 
if you do all of everything that I've told you to do um, in steps, when you click the play button, you're going to be able to hear uh, Vacation Home play. So let me show you what that sounds like. Okay, so uh, one thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a metronome to this. So to do that, what you do is you go to player right here, and you just click on the metronome. Okay, and if you hit play, we're going to hear the metronome. Let's start at the beginning. Sorry about that. Here's at the beginning. So you can hear the metronome with that, of course. If you want to go back to the beginning of the song, you just hit the far rewind button pretty easy. It's just like a regular tape recorder. Um, but so now we have the we have the metronome engaged. You can see that the icon lights up. Now, one thing that happens is if for some reason you go and you engage the metronome and you don't hear anything that means that your uh, drum uh, track is missing you need your drum your drum program in there okay so go to show instruments again and you can see that I have the drum here now if I remove this okay and then try to go ahead and I have the metronome engaged you're not going to hear anything Okay, so go to View, Show Instrument, uh, Add, Percussion Channel, and I'm going to Program 1. There we go. Now we'll hear it again. Okay. So the next thing and the last thing I'm going to show you for this video is that on if you go to view that's the third one over if we go to view we could actually show the fretboard okay I encourage you to go ahead and play along with this stuff you know have fun with this so show instruments was you know obviously what we, where we've been before but show fretboard you get this okay and if I rewind all the way back this is gonna show um, it's all gonna be lit up which is very cool you can see right here this is the nut right here and when we're hitting open notes that's what that represents Alright, so that's a taste of uh, Tuck's guitar, the program itself, and I hope that you don't have any, if you want to go ahead and get that, I hope you don't have any troubles. It's pretty straightforward to be able to download it, and working it is, is fairly easy. Okay, if you need help, give me a, give me a shout, acoustic-guitar-videos at gmail.com, and I will see you in the next video.